This is our YouTube studio, but with the rise of the metaverse, we're trying to stay ahead. Try to future-proof it. I was human. I am human, still. Luckily, we have a virtual artist that'll take this space and turn it into this. This is our studio for the metaverse, created in Unreal Engine. And we're gonna show you how you can bring any space into the metaverse. But hold on, how is this the metaverse? What is the metaverse? Why the metaverse? Hmm, just a second. Roblox, Decentraland, Axie Infinity, Digital Village, Meta. These 3D playable worlds are the metaverse. Right now, in time, on January 27th, 2022. Cause it's gonna change, don't roast me. Yes, we know, the metaverse is here to stay, it's gonna blow up, it'll take over the internet, internet three. Wow. Which metaverse will reign supreme? <laughs> As of right now, these pseudo-physical metaverse places are this. 3D levels that you can explore in virtual reality or augmented reality, often made using Unreal Engine. So, how is our artist Tamara going to recreate this space? And how can you bring your spaces into the metaverse? Here's five quick tips when using Unreal Engine. Number one, you need reference. Luckily, we have the real thing. That's the best reference you could possibly have. Tamara took a very, very close look at all of the details, every inch, every little material that makes up this background and found the textures to map her build in Unreal Engine. Which leads to our second tip, physically based rendering, PBR. That's making <laughs> that's making and using materials that are as realistic as possible so we can make our metaverse space photo real. Tip three, ambient lighting. This is huge. When you walk into any room in real life, there's ambient light, whether that's a window light, whether that's the hallway light right here that's literally hitting me. There's more than just the lights you place in your scene. But in Unreal Engine, you start with basically nothing. So if you just place a key light, some backlights, this little flying plane thing, it's gonna look horrible. It's gonna look so bad. First, let's build an ambient world just like real life. Four, in Engine, you need realistic camera settings. Now, just like in film, we actually plunk down the camera first, look at our ambient lighting, and build the lighting setup from there. It's no different in Engine. Get your camera settings right with your shutter speed, your ISO, your aperture, and then light from there. As an example, we're using this camera in our studio. It's a black magic, so we're gonna set those settings exactly the same as we have here. And here are some tools we use in Engine to make things look photo real. And five, lastly is your studio lights or your key lights. These are the lights that bring your subject out of the background like I am right now. Or if it's an ambient space, these are the lights that feature certain parts of the world that you want to be highlighted. For us, it's simple. We've got the key light, we've got the red accent light, and we've got this actually really, really bright plane that kind of acts as a nice little backlight for me. And boom! You're ready for the metaverse, baby. Metaverse mogul. You can take that asset and sell it for eight million Ethereum. Wow. Next week, we're gonna take this digital asset we've created and bring me in the metaverse. Wait, we already have. It's Josh, you're watching Copilot, and I'll see you in the next one. In the metaverse.